Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh. Cooking debacles, work mishaps, and therapy pigs. So today we are back at it reacting to one of your faves, The Simpsons, number nine. What kind of medical scenes and injuries will Homer and the crew get into? I'm not sure, but you know Dr. Nick will have something to say about it. Let's dive right in. Mm, still frozen. Oh, you know this is not good. What is he doing? Oh my gosh, not again. <laughs> it's got a finger. Ah, my finger. Homer. This is actually not as common as you think of people actually cutting their own fingers off with a knife. Are you sure that's mine? A lot of times it's more lacerations, partial amputations to where it goes through. Maybe half the finger doesn't go through the bone, cuts a lot of the soft tissues, the blood vessels, the nerves. But all the way through typically is more from a machine. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the finger is on the grill. Delicious finger. Oh, wait a minute. You're gonna have some bleeding. So basically you wanna put a bandage on the top and you want to potentially wrap it in something like that's wet and then put that in maybe a plastic bag and then maybe put that on ice. Basically you're just trying to slow down the cellular processes of the finger. You're not trying to freeze it because then you're actually going to cause cell damage and cell death and bring it with you, get to the hospital. Because if it is such a clean cut, there is a high chance that reattachment could occur. I can't eat my own finger. It's unholy. Also, it's not quite done. But sometimes a man has to do the unthinkable. Like eat something medium rare. Oh, that's rare. so disgusting. Oh. That's so disgusting. Oh, that's a, what you would call something auto cannibalism. So you're actually eating yourself. He just chopped off his own toes. Oh, and he's using his own. <laughs> he's cutting off his toes, but he's using mittens for his hands. The most common uh, people that we see end up losing their toes are patients that have diabetes. Because having elevated blood sugar for a longer period of time almost like deadens your nerves. So then you don't feel when you have a small cut or you bang your toe and then you have this ulcer that sits there or something that's just not healing well because you're also ruining your blood vessels. Over time, these toes are going to kind of rot out, get infected. Sometimes the infection gets into the bone or you get something called dry gangrene. Oh my gosh, an old school corkscrew. You know how much pain that would be? Your tympanic membrane, AKA your eardrum, is so highly innervated that when you touch it, even when you accidentally go in too far with a Q-tip and you touch it, it hurts like heck. What is this? Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh. The fact that he's not in any pain and he's just chilling, I wanna know what did he take? I just see bandages around his belly, so I'm assuming he cut off his skin through his abdomen and he's making like pizza of this. You shouldn't be snacking in the middle of the night. It can't be good for your drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the fact that he has a diagram of his second chin, his first chin, the sirloin, oh my god, your muzzle, the arm bacon, what is this, flabby back ribs. This is really funny. Oh, he's missing both legs, he's already had one. Woohoo! March, they found a donor. I'm safe. What does he need a donor for? Oh my gosh, he's going to Dr. Nick. Oh my God, the member of the Back Alley Medical Group. Boy, you're getting this transplant just in time, Homer. This is genuine human hair. Typically, you use different products, different medications, different topical. In real life, if you want a hair transplant, it's your own hair transplanted from one section to another. But it's your own, it's not somebody else's hair. This is legal, right? Legal. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, whatever. Nope. These drugs will make the operation seem like a beautiful <laughs> dream. <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you don't just easily find the vein to inject with a random syringe. It doesn't work that way. Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's using the pizza cutter. <laughs> and there's a bunch of blood vessels you have to worry about. So just doing a big incision around like that, you have to take a lot of care into watching out which major blood vessels are actually underneath the skin. Who went to see their sexy new daddy? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. Oh. 
looking fly. If your fly weren't open, you look just like Roger Moore. <laughs> oh my gosh, if somebody's fly is open, please just let them know. What are you doing? You keep that on slice the prosciutto outside of my restaurant. <laughs> <It's> a prosciutto. <laughs> Wait, how come he can bring a dog in, but my pig has to stay outside like a common snowman? Because of that dog is a therapy animal. He's a license to help calm those with anxiety. Animals are a truly great companions. If you have any animals, let me know in the comments. Don't lick my face, the makeup's lead-based. Too much lead in your body can lead to like anemia, kidney issues, brain damage, a whole slew of things. So if I get that anxiety diagnosis, Plopper could follow Plopper. me anywhere. He could live in my office. Hey, what are the symptoms of anxiety? Oh no, don't yeah, try that, no, Dad. No. You might get into trouble. Just the thought of it is making me sweat and my heart is palpitating. Panic attack is basically anxiety at full force. But anxiety in itself is, you know, nervousness, palpitations, sweating. A lot of times when people are very anxious and nervous, they have a tough time falling asleep because you can't turn off your brain. Your brain just keeps going, going, going. How many opioids would you like? I don't want any. Typically, going to a doctor and asking for this class of pain medication throws up big red flags because you're having pain. We need to address the pain, but we need to help figure out and solve how to get rid of the pain versus these medications typically just cover up the pain. Oh, come on. You've got to be dependent on something. I just want a prescription for a therapy pig. Fine. Plus five opioids. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. And one for the doctor. The medications that are used by psychiatrists to help this are typically meds that you use for both anxiety and depression. I'll just walk across these slippery rocks. Ah! Oh, we did fall. <gasps> You're worried about cervical fractures, you know, spinal cord injuries, and as well as trauma to the face and trauma to the brain. Oh, good! He can grab onto them pointy rocks. He's waking up. Oh, homie, I'm so glad you're all right. Oh my gosh. I love these depictions of like all the different like things holding up the limb. Actually, they are helpful and sometimes we do have that at the hospital. Just depends on what was broken. Uh, what this is what your new hip is going to look like. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes people don't want it fixed if they're very old. The surgery itself would increase risk of death for that individual because of their health. They may say, no, I'd rather be bed bound and live in a wheelchair the rest of my life versus getting it fixed. Who doesn't love The Simpsons? I didn't expect to laugh this much in this episode today, but super, super funny. Check out the merch, it's a limited run. The link is in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out this playlist right here and binge watch all the videos. And as always, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.